In this, the first module in our five-part tour of the FlexNet Manager Suite, we will briefly discuss the advantages of deploying our software license optimization solution and get familiar with the tasks, analyses, opportunities for efficiency, and cost savings possible with its management dashboard. Not only can you handle asset management tasks that once took hours, days even, with just a few clicks, but you can strategically manage the financial, contractual, and operational aspects for your organization to have optimal software licensing at all times, efficiently and at the lowest possible cost. The FlexNet Manager Suite is designed to optimize purchasing, maximize utilization of assets, reduce software spending, maintain license compliance to reduce risk, and significantly reduce the manual activities associated with software asset management. The user interface for FlexNet Manager Suite is web-based, intuitive, and easy to use. It provides a window into your hardware and software assets that allows you to have immediate visibility and control. Drill down into details quickly and easily and take swift and decisive action. Where is your risk? Where are you overspending and where are the opportunities for savings? How can you prepare for a software audit? Do you have the correct mix of licenses for your essential software? In addition, there's also an ever-growing list of standards and security checklists, such as those published by CIS, DISA, and NIST, with which companies must comply. You can proactively manage your software estate, find out what upcoming contract activity you need to take action on, prepare for your annual Microsoft EA TrueUp, and know in advance the exact cost your organization is facing and determine the impact of organizational or IT environment changes on your license position. Let's start by taking a look at how the management dashboard can be used to assess and act on potential license compliance breach conditions. The management dashboard provides a financial management view of your IT estate with a focus on software assets and highlights situations that require action. A series of data cards are presented with all the information that you need to review and analyze the entire estate. You can immediately spot license compliance breach conditions. In this case, the potential true-up cost is in excess of half a million dollars across five different publishers, Microsoft, Oracle, IBM, HP, and VMware. Here, you can see that over 60% of that financial exposure is with Microsoft and almost a quarter is with Oracle. You've already narrowed your focus to two of the five publishers. Digging even deeper into the Oracle tile reveals that a large portion of your risk is with the Oracle database, which is a fairly common scenario. In fact, with just one more click, you will see that all of the risk is with Oracle database processor licenses, and none is with Oracle database named user plus licenses. And in just five clicks, you have all the information you need to put together a plan of attack and address the risk associated with that threat. Next, you can turn to your number one threat, Microsoft. Specifically, you can see how to optimize your position so you mitigate your risk with the least amount of spend. Simply return to the dashboard and click on the Microsoft breach position. This shows exposure with Windows Server, SQL Server, and Project. Drill down into each one to view your compliance position and where you might have an opportunity to optimize. In this grid view of all your current licenses for Microsoft Project, you can see that your risk lies with Project Standard. The next screen shows that there are 38 installs of Project Standard, and only 25 licenses have been purchased you may be able to reduce your overconsumption of Project Standard 2010 by applying products use rights that are available to these licenses, such as downgrade rights, second use rights, and multi-install rights. We saw on the previous screen that you were overbuying Project Standard 2013. You may be able to apply downgrade rights for Project Standard 2013 to Project Standard 2010 so that Project Standard 2010 installations can be covered by these existing licenses. In the consumption view, you can also see every instance of Microsoft Project that's been used or not in the last X number of months. This date range can be set to your specific business requirements. This helps you to see that while your optimized consumption count of Project Standard is 36 licenses, only 14 of the installs have recently been used, allowing you to uninstall the software and eliminating the breach condition without spending any money. You can even create a grouping of computers as indicated by the plus icon in front of a desktop computer. 
By expanding this, you can see the application of second use rights when the user has both a desktop and a laptop computer. The FlexNet Management Dashboard makes it easier than ever to identify areas of risk in software estate, assess it from a financial standpoint, and quickly put together a plan of attack to mitigate risk while keeping software costs down. In the next section, we will see how to identify software overspend and reduce ongoing costs for software.